Hello, everybody. Hi. Hi. So, uh, auspicious timing because I am attempting to write a book. And uh, <laughs> so, thank you, Lenny. And um, this is a little excerpt from it, and it's called The List. Toward the end of Ridley Scott's 20th century masterpiece, Blade Runner, we are privileged to witness the dying replicant Roy Batty voicing his last words. These words were not the original ones scripted, for something subtle yet extraordinary had occurred. The actor looked within himself and found the character of Roy Batty waiting for him. He knew him and became him, as surely as Rene Falconetti became Joan of Arc, as sure as George C. Scott became General Patton, as sure as Peter O'Toole became T.E. Lawrence, as surely as Jennifer Jones became Saint Bernadette. In portraying Batty, the actor, who is Rutger Howard, channeled him, or perhaps Batty channeled the actor. But in either case, Howard was a portal into Batty's conscious mind and conscious death. There is a sense that when compared to Batty, we humans are a lesser species. He is like an archangel, unfettered by ritual, religiosity, Yet, he also has a final chip, a finite chip, a predetermined lifeline, no different than being terminally human. I have seen things you people would not believe, he says contemptuously. Terrible things, wonderful things, wondrous, as marvelous as an attack ship off the shoulder of Orion as imperceptible as a drop of sun upon the lash of a sleeping girl. He takes one last glance at our universe that through his eyes seems to mimic the transparency of a toy, the invisible man whose organs are exposed for every child's delight. His electric soul flutters like the wings of the dove he cups in his hand. Batty, with his head bowed, answers for us the ultimate question. Will science obliterate love? We are all Batty. We are all victims of the menace of science.